It sounds like your car is giving you the classic symptoms of transmission troubles. When you're going from first to second gear, even in an automatic, the vehicle is supposed to smoothly transition as it adjusts the gear ratios for speed. If there's a jerkiness to this, it's often a sign that the transmission isn't engaging correctly. One possible cause is low transmission fluid. Just like how blood in our bodies needs to be at the right level for us to function, cars need their fluids at the right levels too. Low transmission fluid can lead to a lack of hydraulic pressure, which is critical for gear shifts to operate effortlessly. It could also be a problem with the transmission torque converter. This is supposed to manage the flow of fluid and if it's malfunctioning, you're going to feel it as a jolt par excellence during gear changes. But let's not discount the transmission solenoids. These little guys control the fluid flow through your transmission, and if they're sticking or failing, they're going to throw a wrench into the gears, so to speak. Lastly, don't overlook the transmission control module. It's the brains of the operation. And if the software is having a bad day or the hardware is on the fritz, it's not going to be managing the symphony of gears in harmony. The bottom line is, the kick you're feeling isn't normal. It's less noticeable at higher speeds because the gear changes aren't as pronounced, and the momentum of the car masks the issue. I wish I could just tell you to turn it off and on again, but it's not that simple. You'll want to take it into a mechanic who can hook your car up to a diagnostic tool to pinpoint the problem. And hey, in Portland, Oregon, where I'm also navigating the rainy streets, we've got plenty of hills that'll really test your transmission. So it's best to get this sorted sooner rather than later. You don't want to be stuck on one of those inclines with a car that's jerking around like it's dancing to some bad 80s music. Trust me.